actually looks like a clear patch that way. So clear, it's just not as dark as the rest. into that shit. The twist of it is, is it moving that way with the wind and I need to race it? Or is it moving that way with the wind and if I slow down it'll be gone by the time I get there? Who knows? Just lost. Just peeked over that corner and it was shitting it down. Right where I'm going. Yeah, you can smell it now. Here we go. These roads are going to be slippery. They have already been rained on though, so maybe it's moving away. It's halves my speed though. Don't make any progress like this. Ah, wet roads spoiled my holiday. Ah. Weather, 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 weather. It's the roll of the dice, isn't it? rain going on over there. Well I missed that bit, the road I'm about to join came through that bit, so that would have been me absolutely soaked, but I don't know how I'm going to fare with this bit. Ugh. Can't ever be upset though or surprised, it's just weather, the shit that happens. there isn't an option in the sat nav for driest route. Fastest, shortest, most economic, driest. She's gonna have to don the waterproofs and go for it. Oh yeah, I picked up a cheap waterproof jacket from uh, car four when I got the chain wax. So that was a bit of a score. I even considered not doing it. At least the roads have still been pretty good. What are you doing, chum? There's a car coming. Even I saw that, 20 metres behind you. Can't 
believe he raced me then. What a dickhead. Whoa! Twist. Can't imagine anything worse than driving a monster like that around roads like this. What a dramatic skyline. Oh, I really hope you can see this clearly. has rained here very recently and so suddenly everything gets turned on its head and all the cars are going to be so much quicker than me beautiful countryside though really ominous and weird quality of the light now though look at that that is amazing a little bit depressing but it's just so well, it's impressive as well. It's just so massive. But you really can't tell us it's freezing cold as well. The air temperature's dropped by about 10 degrees, at least. close to the clear sky and then the whole plan goes to shit I need to pull over somewhere dry sharpish oh this is horrible the worst thing is I'm going to pull over I'm going to put on the waterproof and then I'm going to be out of the rain in 10 minutes I know it, I just feel it if I get wet I'm still 200 kilometres away from a, a warm room oh you Bastard, you absolute bloody bastard mother nature bitch face. Ah! Tell you what, you've done it now, love. You can forget recycling. Next time I go to Tesco's, I'm going to triple bag everything. And then I'm going to stick all of those silly little ring binder things that the beer cans come in. And I'm going to stuff bags full of them and chuck them in the sea. Yeah! You've done it now. Gloves are off, Mother Nature, you cow. Epic views, though. Of course, they are epic views for those who can see for those who've got water in their eyes, i.e. you lot. Well then, pulled into this petrol station. Luckily I had some space in the tank because the only place to get shelter is next to the pumps. I managed to get an extra 13.53 litres in. Total mileage thus far, 2,302.4 miles. So please enjoy my current fuel economy numbers coming to you over this unbelievable rain seen a lot more rain on this trip than I imagined thus far. Lo siento. Si viene un coche o camión tendrás que ir, ¿eh? Well, quite unbelievably, stupid bitch who works in this place, just as I was cut off then, said to me, apparently uh, cars can wait here, like this chap, he's been here as long as I have, but motorbikes can't, so I have to be on my way. So like a cheeky kid, who doesn't want to go to bed yet. I've taken 20 minutes to put on this waterproof jacket and my tank bag cover and finish my coffee. <laughs> About 18 minutes longer than all of that needed to have taken. So, big bloody two fingers to you, you ca. You ca. I hate you nearly as much as Mother Nature. Nobody's going to miss me in this bad boy, are they? Can't imagine it's the most waterproof garment in the world, but it cost about 30p.
Lots of horrible rainbow coloured puddles on the floor. It's not very relaxing. And my visor is steaming out. Oh, all those problems of commuting to London have brought them to the Spanish mountains. Hey, Llobregat. I think that's the river that goes to Barcelona. Could be wrong, as ever it's happened before, but it rings a bell. What I really need is to go into one of these tunnels, pop out the other side in glorious sunshine. No, not that one. for that. Oh, today has not been a great day. That's really pissed me off, that has. No tolls, I said. Pretty sure that was a toll. A bit of a whammy as well. 11 euros for five kilometres. Oh, joy. I fell off the kid with a trailer now. roads ruined by rain. So positive and hopeful I was actually going to get away without getting properly wet but this just turned into persistent drizzling British rain. Of course the upshot is my fuel economy is going to be bloody brilliant in this weather. All right chaps, hope you're having fun too. The worst, most ironic, irking part of the whole experience is that my hands are soaking wet and my heated grips have packed up. That's just irritating. Uh, it's happened. The water has reached my crotch area. Discomfort levels have just reached maximum. Quite literally, saturation point. My point is saturated. Pro. 
some of the experiences I've had on this trip thus far with my drift cameras, plural, I have several drift cameras now, uh, I might be trying GoPro out in the near future. Some very irritating moments. But in the interest of fairness, maybe I shouldn't rant about cameras when I'm already in a shit mood. The f Why are we a kilometre from France? You're f kidding me! Oh my good f God! I do not believe it. We're supposed to be heading further south, not further f north. If we're going into France, I'm going to be f off. Piece of shit is trying to take me to France. Fuckity fucking fuck. I seriously do not believe that. I really could almost cry. I've just crossed the Pyrenees to cross over them again. I will never, ever, ever use this application ever again. Sorry for all the swearing, Mum.